Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and here with my last comic review, and I'm in my car rather than in front of um, all my comics, but uh, it's because I, I forgot a, a, as I was getting in the car, oh wait, I need to review this last book before I return to the library. That is The Fifth Beetle by uh, Vivek Tuari, Andrew Robinson, and uh, Kyle Baker. Really awesome graphic novel about the Beatles manager, Brian Epstein. Uh, very well illustrated. Um, um, I felt like this, some things were sort of glossed over a, a bit. There's sort of a um, um, the vast majority of the story takes place sort of between Epstein, um, sort of like you know discovering the Beatles and then sort of their sort of um, artistic um, evolution. But you know. Um, with, with an obvious heavy um, dose of, of uh, Epstein and sort of the um, things he, he had to go through, um, manage the band and also his own his own uh, personal personal life and the uh, relationships he had. Interesting stuff. Um, I don't know if I would learn as much about Epstein uh, than if I would if I was reading a biography. But it was definitely good sort of introduction. And now if if, if I so choose, I can, you know, go and read something a little more academic, I guess. But this is actually really good. The art is amazing. Andrew Robinson, someone who I follow on Instagram, and I uh, got him to sign a couple comics of mine at the uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con. Just a really great sort of retro kind of style here. Let me show you. Really nice. I like the one at the top there of uh, Moxie. Get a shot of that. Very well drawn. There's a weird kind of section in the middle where the Beatles go to the Philippines. That's sort of an infamous appearance they made there. Which, if you're a Beatle fan, you'll know about. If not, I, um, I believe it had something to do with um, uh, something to do with um, like accidentally like 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 um, insulting them in some random accidental way or some some sort of Philippine tradition they didn't. Um, follow, I forget exactly, but there's some sort of dust up, and there's kind of a weird art style. I think that's Kyle Baker's contribution to the book. Um, kind of weird, very cartoony, not really very good style. I, I don't know wh why they had to change that, why Andrew Robinson couldn't have done that, but, um, it, interesting book. I feel like the end is a little strange, it's sort of with how Epstein sort of passes away at, at a young age. It wasn't really made clear. I mean, there's a lot of talk about him and the uh, pills that he takes and uh, there are a lot of doctors prescribing them for him it doesn't really go into that too much um would like that to be a little more clear but um i think it's just one more po poetic way where um he's visited at his bedside by paul and then by one of the uh one of the other managers uh nat i believe it was the american like record label rec um representative i think um anyway i'm sort of rambling here but um I thought it was a really good book. I felt like um, the writing was, was pretty good. Could use a little bit more of, um, been a little more clear on, on some things. I felt like um, it definitely let you know that, you know, who Brian Epstein was. And he was very dedicated, very, very much a, uh, a workaholic. And, um, but hey, you know, the Beatles definitely, uh, uh, definitely uh, benefit from it. Um, so I'll give this um, an 8 out of 10. It's good to have this book as the last one I review. So anyway, if uh, if you guys missed one of my previous videos and watched, I mentioned why I was stopping uh, these these videos. It's basically that um, reviewing comics has been a kind of... It's become a bit of a chore. Um, and I don't know if that's my own making or that's because I impose a certain number of reviews I wanted to get done every week, every month, whatever. Um, but I got to the point where I would get home from work and I'd just be too tired and then I would think, oh, I have to review this many comics this week and it just didn't become enjoyable. Now I'll still post um, my my uh, ratings on Goodreads, on Comic Book DB. Um, uh, so, I'll, so I'll also be doing that and I'm sure you can find uh, my reading for the fifth beetle there and then follow all the other reviews i do there i have a quite the extensive reading list that i'll probably 
Um, never end up reading all those books that I have on there, but a lot of comics I, I want to read and I, stuff that I already have. So you can keep track that way, and I might do text reviews that way too, but I just felt like it was time to stop and, uh, you know, read comics a little um, unburned without having to sort of give any sort of review or any sort of opinion because I find it kind of hard to do these videos without spoiling things, without making plot details known, without um, really diving into it. And there are reviewers who do that, but I only watch the, the videos of stuff that I'm not interested in reading, but I still want to know what it's about and what, what people think about it. Um, but I really want to, want to do that myself. I, I want to make sure that I left key plot details unspoiled so you can go and read it if you disagreed with what I said and you thought, oh, well, well you know, this thing this got a bad review, but it sounds interesting and the art, you know, is, is, is up your alley and you might want to check it out for yourself. So I definitely didn't want to spoil anything uh, either on purpose or on, or on accident. So that was difficult as well, but, you know, that's the way I decided to do it and um, the time for my reviews is, uh, is up. So, um, yeah, um, definitely check out the, uh, the fifth Beatle though. That's what this review is about. Not about my ramblings on whether I do videos or not. So check it out and, um, I'll still be out there watching uh, comic review videos and, uh, chime in with my, with my two cents. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and, uh, happy reading.